Hi there, I'm Claire Jefford and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm looking at paint colors and just gonna cover a really big mistake that a lot of homeowners and even designers make in choosing the paint color for clients or for a project. And what it is, I, I say this a lot, so just bear with me a second, but first, if you're not already subscribed, make, your subs make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, ring the bell below, just hit that and you'll get notified every time I publish a new video. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna show you. So for example, I hear people a lot, whether it's in my group or whether it's just a Facebook post in general, and someone says like, tell me what your favorite, you know, grayish colors are. I wanna know what your favorite grayish colors are. Uh, and, and I just think, okay. <laughs> You know, especially if someone's looking to do a project, I just think, okay, you, you don't know about color because I could give you a hundred beautiful grays or beiges or greens or whichever color. I mean, there's really not a color that's not pretty, um, but it's really going to depend on if it's going to work with what you have in your home. What are the selections that you're choosing? What are the countertops? What is the floor like? Is it hardwood? Is it a tile? What about the fireplace stone? So I get really passionate about this. There's just so many options out there that it doesn't matter until you figure out some of your stuff first, okay? Paint color comes last. So here we go. I wanna show you some examples of this. I'm gonna show you some photos as well. So someone says like, tell me some beautiful gray colors or you know, kind of grayish colors. What, what do you think? And so I'm gonna say, well, look at these ones here. We've got November rain on top, edge comb gray in the middle and classic gray on the bottom. They're all beautiful colors. In fact, I haven't used November Rain, but I've used the other two. Um, so, but now for my sister's renovation, for example, which is currently underway, um, this is the countertop that we landed on. This is Cosmopolitan White uh, by Caesar Stone. And so if I had just said to someone randomly in a group or, or somewhere and, and asked people's opinion, and I went, oh great, November Rain looks lovely. That's the one I'm gonna paint my space. And then we finally, we landed on the countertop and then I go, oh, let's look at the countertop with, with the November rain. Now, could it work? Yes, it actually, it actually could work. Is it the best choice? Not really, right? So now you're kind of like, mm, I can't really use maybe this stone. I mean, you could, but if it was something else then you couldn't really use that, that countertop. Um, then let's look at it with edge comb gray. Does it work with edge comb gray? Yep, it could work with edge comb gray. Is it still my number one choice? No, not at all. Let's have a look at it with classic gray. You know where this is going. <laughs> classic gray looks amazing with classic gray. And I don't know if you can see that there, but just trust me if you can't. Classic gray is the wall color that we decided to go with for my sister's kitchen. And this is her cabinetry color. And we also looked at the backsplash. You're gonna have to watch my YouTube series to see more on that. Go, you go over to your friend's house and your friend has just painted her room, uh, a, a, her guest room, a beautiful green. And you say, oh, I really want that green. I really want that green. So you say, oh, okay. And another friend painted her room another green and you love that green. So you go out and you decide you're gonna pick one of them. So let's just say, for example, I'm just gonna show you three greens here, okay? Three very, very different greens, right? We've got Van Allen green here on the end, dill pickle in the middle and Woodland Hills green on the far right. So now you go and you think, oh, that dill pickle, I really love that. And maybe you just love the name because a lot of people just love the name sometimes, right? So you go, I'm gonna paint dill pickle. Then you're out and about, cause you've got nothing in that room yet. You just needed to get it painted. You were in a rush and you wanted to paint that room. But then what happened was you were out and about and you found this fabric and you just thought this was the sweetest little fabric for a guest room, which we actually did for a guest room or a client. Um, and you just thought it was so, so cute. And so now you're like, oh great, I'm gonna bring that home. I'm gonna get, you know, 10 yards. I'm gonna do my drapery in it. And then you're gonna bring it home and you're gonna go, does it work with this? Does it work? Could it work? It could work. Do we want, it could work, it's okay. I don't like that, no. Uh, maybe, maybe it was this Van Allen green you went with and now you're realizing, wow, that really is like a mint chocolate chip ice cream cone. It's not really gonna go with this fabric that I love and now I've painted the room. Shoot. If we'd have just waited, called your color consultant, I would've brought my large boards and I would have landed on something like Woodland Hills Green, <laughs> to read that there, because it really pulls out that green so beautifully in the fabric, and it's, it's not wishy-washy with the other colors that I've got going on there, okay? So super duper important last example. So let's just stick with the green. So you're saying to your friends, wow, you know, I'd love to see some beautiful, dramatic greens. What have you done? What do you love? I have to pick a color for a client. 
or, you know, for my house. And someone says, oh, you must try it. Martha's Vineyard. It's, it's amazing. It's beautiful. Love it. It's a beautiful color. Look at it. Gorgeous. Uh, and someone else says, oh, no, my favorite is Dragonfly. Actually, Dragonfly looks a little bit like the green on my top. But look at these two colors. They're very, very different. One's much more of a blue, has more blue in it than this one here. That's Martha's Vineyard. So now you picked one of these colors. And now you are, you, you've painted the room and you're excited. And then you decide, oh, you know what? This is for my bedroom. And I'd really love a focal wall of wallpaper. And then you're out and about and you see this wallpaper and you fall in love. You fall in love with this wallpaper. But guess what? This wallpaper is not going to match your, either of your paint colors. So depending on which one you chose, I know I'm kind of all over the place here. Neither one of these paint colors is the best match by any means for this wallpaper. So, you know, again, you're just choosing the paint color to get that fix. And if you're a designer and your clients are asking for a paint color and they want it first, there's only very minimal situations and circumstances of which I will give someone a paint color first because it really should be the last thing that's chosen for a space. All right. So I, I really am so passionate about this and uh, comment below if you've ever made a mistake with choosing paint color. Have you chosen the paint color first and then found something after and was like, nope, that doesn't actually work well with what I want. Uh, comment below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm Claire Jefford and uh, I'm bringing you clarity in color and design. <laughs> All right. We'll see you next time. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and we'll talk soon. Bye. <laughs> All right, we're trying to decide where to put the toilet roll holder. Would it go there? Too high, but okay. What about, Chris said, what about in the cupboard? <laughs> Keep it low, that's it. Well, if the door could close, we could still close the door. <laughs>